Thank you for watching WTL 11 Your Day, where we love local. And here's one way to spend a Saturday art, music, movies, trunk or treat, and more all through the streets of Uptown Toledo. Natalie Trinelli Jacobs joins us from the Arts Commission with the details on the Haunted Harvest Art Loop. Good morning. Thanks for joining us today. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. Thanks. So, this is going to be a fun one coming up on Saturday. What can we expect? Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a really fun uh, afternoon. It'll go from 3.30 until 9. And so the first part of the event from 3.30 to 6.30 will be uh, a trunk or treat event. Um, there'll be a kid zone with free pumpkin painting and make and take art um, and a couple of other activities. Uh, there'll be an artist market that Handmade Toledo is running. That'll happen uh, around that same time. Uh, we're going to have a special project called the Toledo Alphabet Project that you can see more on our website. Uh, and then at the end of the night, we're going to sort of close down that trunk or tree and open up the park for um, a free movie at 715, which will be Monsters, Inc. Well, that seems like a good choice for a movie for a, a Halloween event. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, how's the Art Loop been going so far this season? What, why is it so important to host this in our community? Uh, you know, this is a really, you know, grassroots community um, event. We hosted our first one after, you know, the pandemic this summer, and we had over 5,000 people come down, um, and folks were just excited to be able to sort of safely but be together for the first time in a long time. And just that connection and that collaboration and that arts and cultural piece is really important for folks to just be able to kind of reconnect with their city and each other. So when the kids come out on Saturday, you know, doing small things like painting pumpkins, you know, that might just like nip their toe in a little bit, right? I think we lost her a little bit frozen here on her end. So again, this uh, Toledo Art Loop is coming up on Saturday uh, from 3.30 to 6.30. You can find your trunk or treat and your kids zone with all those fun activities, as we mentioned, for the kids. Um, all right, Natalie, we got you back. You were frozen there for a little bit, but I was just talking about, you know, uh, simple things like painting pumpkins can, can help kids get interested in the arts. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And this event is free and open to the public, which is really great because anyone from any part of the city can come downtown for that afternoon and just, you know, have a great time. There's lots of wonderful people that'll be down there. It'll be a great atmosphere, really a good vibe that happens down there. Uh, we usually have hundreds and hundreds of people that come out for this event, and it's usually really great. So um, we hope that we get that same turnout this year. And uh, it's in the Adams Street and um, the Uptown Green Park area. Explain where all this is going to be happening. Yeah, so it's essentially Adams Street with Uptown Green Park, which is connected to that right between 17th and 21st Streets. So you can see a map online on our website at theartscommission.org backslash art loop, and that'll give you a better sense if you're not as familiar with that area. And there's plenty of street parking all around that area. So folks usually park and then walk up to the event and then there'll be a line on Madison Avenue, which is the entrance to the park, which will be very easy to see. Uh, we'll have a lot of big flyers and flags and things like that for folks to uh, grab their attention. And that's where folks will line up for a trunk or treat and they'll weave through the park and come down through Adams and then loop back into the park for all the other kids events. And then when that movie starts there at 715, you'll have some food trucks out there so uh, you can get your popcorn and your hot chocolate and, and enjoy that and have a good time. And then there's some great businesses there uh, in that area and maybe parents want to stay out a little bit later and you know help support them. Yes, absolutely. We have kind of what we call Art Loop After Dark. So while the families and kids are in the park on the main street, there's lots of bars and restaurants, creative spaces, galleries where the adults can have a good time and enjoy some, um, you know, after hours fun. Sounds good. Natalie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. Yeah, take care.